Somewhere, the answer is taunting me with a stopwatch and a tarot deck. I can move thousands of miles per hour, hurtling through the universe on this massive centrifuge. But I still haven't figured out lasagna. <laughs> there must be wolves in heaven. I can't be the only person who wants to ride one. There must be a way to tell the truth while I'm lying. There must be a way to make the universe notice us. Even if the start of life was insignificant, you know, just like a blip on the cosmic scale, maybe it's as easy as riding a planet spinning thousands of miles per hour. I'm still fantasizing about destroying lovely houses with a baseball bat and a tarot deck. I could take a stopwatch to it and time would crack. It's just not heaven if it doesn't cater to all of our fantasies. If it isn't an eternity of blank canvas and somewhere he is kissing up your neck. Somewhere, he is taking a photograph of you smiling in a tea shop, and I wonder if his hands can still feel the lack of my hands on you. If you dream of wolves howling at the gates of heaven, anyone can tell you the Garden of Eden wasn't perfect. I'll mention how heaven disappoints. I can't imagine paradise because I'd still be there. And I'd still be me. My body is the birthplace of panic. It belongs to this violence. There is so much hunger in me. So much blood and ache. The universe, it's a photograph of my want. Not the thing exactly, but a reduction of it. I'm trapped inside, marveling at how it all feels so impossible. Even Adam must have been able to picture a world outside of the garden. He must have wanted to touch it. Adam must have found the bright side to his exile eventually. He could stop dreaming of insects and the tenacity of weeds. He could stop craving thunder, but even in Eden, the serpent knew of hunger. I sold my body to the insects in exchange for an exoskeleton. The point was never to touch the world. The point was to prevent it from touching me. I fed this violence to insects and they grew stronger. Now, crows nest beneath my eyes by the murder. Now, I cut holes the size of my body in photographs. I am making heaven possible by removing myself from it. I made a collage from the fabric of the universe. And all it did was blur my want. <laughs>